Hi, I'm Mary Poffenroth. I'm a university adjunct professor of biology, and today we're gonna to talk about autotrophs versus heterotrophs. All living organisms need energy, but how they get that energy depends on which type of organism you're talking about. All organisms fall into either one of two categories, autotrophs or heterotrophs. Let's start with autotrophs. Autotrophs make their own food. They get their energy directly from the sun. They take this solar energy and they transfer it into glucose, a sugar, through a complex process called photosynthesis. Autotrophs are extremely important to our environment because they're a foundation of every ecosystem because they're the only ones that can harness that energy directly from the sun. Now heterotrophs generally fall into one of four categories. You're either going to be an herbivore, which means you eat plants. You're either gonna be a carnivore, which means you eat only meat. Maybe you're like us, an omnivore, which means that you eat plants and animals, or you're saprobic, which means that you absorb your nutrition from the environment, like fungi. So next time you're looking for your energy, think about which category you fall into. Thanks for watching, and if you wanna learn more about this subject, click on the link below. Or if you wanna learn more biology, feel free to click on any links around me. And please, rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Or maybe, if you have ideas for more videos, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.